Hey everyone! Okay, so I'm going to be doing a couple experiments with a Faraday cage. Uh, the very first, I've read a few things online about a Faraday cage. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try the microwave right over here. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people say that the microwave is a good Faraday cage. So I'm actually going to try. I'm going to get my husband to call um, and so we're going to see, I'm going to be able to feel, feel it on my wrist, but let's go ahead and put it in here. Obviously, I'm not going to turn it on, but let's just wait and see if it actually turns, if it actually rings. Ah, it's still ringing. Okay, microwave doesn't work then. All right, it's ringing as you can hear. it stopped ringing because my watch is still ringing but the phone isn't right on okay aluminum foil is working see this is still ringing and that wasn't now we don't have any metal trash cans but what we do have we have these ammo cans these are well, these are the actual metal ones not the plastic ones so we're gonna see if this works because somebody said that it did so let me go ahead and put it in and put it in and then call it. Yeah, close. Oh, we'll call it first. I think if we were going to reach it, it'd reach it by now. You've reached Morgan. Yeah, all I'll right. Just open the lid. Okay, another thing that I saw people doing, uh, making, was little Faraday cages like this, where somebody had uh, actually made it out of like a shoe box, or one person had um, a, wood, a wood box, but basically you just put uh, aluminum foil around it, and then, you know, make sure that everything is connected, uh, there's no gaping holes or anything that you can see. So, let's actually see if this is going to work, and it could be the box that is going to malfunction as well, so... You know, because it's kind of crappily made. Okay, so what we're going to do is, it's in there, we're going to close it. Keep it closed. As you can hear, it's ringing. My husband's phone is ringing me. But, the phone isn't ringing. So, keeping it already in there, it doesn't seem to be ringing or affecting anything. So that's good that, I mean, this is working, definitely. What do you say, babe? I think it's working. Yeah. It's more dense. All right. I think the main lesson that we're learning is when this first worked, it's because, so here's the phone. This is what husband and I have determined. Here's the phone right here. There's a layer of, um, of aluminum there. There's another layer and another layer. There's essentially maybe three or four layers here. There's one layer here on this box. So if we were to layer this two or three or four more times with aluminum, this would work as effective as this or anything. So, you know, the one layer kind of stops it and it works essentially, you know, if it's everything is already in here, um, you know, which you want to do anyway, you want to protect your stuff. But um, when you're having, you know, those two or three or four layers, that's going to make a big difference. The way that I made this was just very simple. I took any shoebox, I wrapped it in regular aluminum foil. Okay, and then what I did with the tape here, ah, I dip, bad dip for something. What I did with the tape is I uh, just made it so that the combining aluminum foil pieces would just be connected so that nothing's getting through, it's not, you know, waving about. So you're just connecting the pieces together. But, um, this worked, that worked, I'm pretty happy. Okay, so this is a good lesson. Um, it's a really good idea to have the items already in there. So this worked, okay, this worked. Uh, wrapping it in tin foil, that worked regardless whether it was in there uh, at the beginning. So at the beginning, um, I started it and um, I wrapped it as it was ringing and it stopped. So that was really interesting, but um, yeah. I think uh, any of these things will work. Uh, I just have to make sure that it's already in there uh, to start. So I hope this has helped you. Let me know what you think, what um, you have experimented with. Um, and 
Let me know what you think of this experiment. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.